Hello and welcome to the Lobo Designs channel. This is Heather Lynn, owner of Lobo Designs, here today with a Procreate tutorial on quick shapes and adding text to your designs. So let's dive in. Starting on a blank canvas in Procreate, using any brush that you choose, I'm using my Lobo Mono brush today. If you're interested in purchasing brushes, it's located in my Etsy shop, which I will link below. I am using it right around 14% on a screen size canvas. I have a 12.9 inch iPad Pro 2017. I believe it's a second gen and I am using the first gen iPad pencil, um, sorry, iPad pencil, Apple pencil. Um, I got this cover off of Amazon. It attaches the cap for charging. Um, I will also link that, that below if you're interested. Today we are going through how the Quick Shapes tool works on Procreate canvases and I will just quickly show you how that goes. So when you're drawing shapes in Procreate, when connecting the beginning point and the end point of your shape, Procreate instantly recognizes that the geometric shape can automatically be created. If it's not something that you're aiming to do automatically, you can let you can release off of your artboard and undo by tapping with two fingers on your artboard, or you can hit the undo button, which is on the left-hand side. Um, redo is a three finger tap. You can't then edit your shape the way that you would be able to um, if you hadn't un undone it though. So what I mean by that is if you, let's erase that real quick. If you draw a circle here, you ha you still have, if you notice, it's more oval shape. Let's not call it a circle. Let's call it an ellipse. Um, it's more of an oval shape right now. Procreate also has a tool built in that if you tap your finger to your screen while you're still editing your shape, it will automatically turn it into the perfectly, uh, perfect diameter circle, let's call that, um, if you can see that change. So it goes from an oval to a circle just with tapping the screen. The same works for um, other shapes. I will show you a square. You can tap to turn it into a square. Also, when you're editing, um, holding down, and works almost like the snapping tool with magnetics. When you're turning to editing, it always does it, I believe, at a 15 degree angle, if you'll see. When you let go, you have full range. And when you're doing shapes that have options, when you release, you'll notice there's, a, there's an option up top that appears that says edit shape, and you can change it to um, the options that it presents for you. So I find that to be really helpful. And while I'm here, I will just quickly show you, um, again, the color drop that you can do with shapes like this. If you wanted to quickly fill this shape, let's just say with pink. Um, actually, let's say blue because that, that's just very pink. And we'll drop that right in the center there. So I find that to be a pretty neat tool. And you can also pick a different shade, a lighter shade if you want to, and drop it into that black to change the outline. So that's a neat tool that I love and I use often. And next we'll hop into how to, how to add text to your artwork. Adding text in Procreate is as simple as going up into the top left wrench icon in the add tab under actions, tap on add text and your options will come up in the center. You'll have the ability here to resize the box that you'd like your text to appear in. You'll also have the ability to select the text It'll be highlighted in blue. You'll have a few options up here in the mini menu, but I don't often work in here. What I do is I tap right here in this uppercase, lowercase a. It'll bring up the full menu down the bottom and it gives you a lot more control of your text, a lot more features. You can up the size of your text. You can increase the size of your text here. The kerning will space out the text, the letters in your text. And another one of my favorite features, if you forget that you wanted to type something in all caps, you can go over here to the right, um, the TT slider here, and turn it on and it will turn it into all caps for you. So you don't have to retype it, which I find to be very helpful because most of the time when I'm doing tutorials and things like that, I want to type in caps just because I think it looks cleaner. Um, and you can, I don't play with the tracking and the letting, but these are other settings that you can play with to kind of space out what you need to. I tend to stick to the size and kerning more often than not. You can play with opacity down here. Another cool feature if you're using this for designs is you can tap right here for outlines and it will create just the outlines of your text versus having it filled in which I find to be fun when you want to do something along the lines of, let's just say, 
So hit the selection tool. Let's make this a little bit bigger. And let's go back to our color drop that we were talking about earlier. And you can actually take these and kind of like the hollow brush that I use in um, my Etsy shop. And I've, I'm sure you've seen on some of my other tutorials. It gives you an internal space to play with and the letters that you can then kind of edit and do what you want to do with. You can change the inside, you can change the outside, you can play with clipping masks and fills to play with the opacity and shadows and pretty much endless possibilities with what you can do with that. So I find that to be pretty fun when you're doing artwork if you want to be able to do shades or colors and mix it up a little bit with colors that you might drop on the inside of text. Um, once you're done, a good note with uh, text editing is once you're done in that screen, that's the editing feature goes out the window. So you, you then aren't able to go back in and change what you type. So once you get out of that menu and you've gone in and played with it a little bit, just please keep a reminder in the back of your head that if you were planning on changing that at all, now would be the time to do so because often beyond this step, you'll want to rasterize the text that's in your piece and continue on. So that's adding text. And if you ever wanna wipe your, you'll see me do this often when I'm going from step to step. If you ever wanna wipe your um, artboard completely clean of what's on there, three fingers and scrub, Ooh, not like that. Three fingers scrub on your screen will erase everything that's on the current layer that you're working on. Uh, and if that does not work for you, you can go up into the settings, uh, the wrench icon and into the preferences tab under gesture controls and you can there are so many options in here but you'll want to go in and play with how you have the scrub set up because you may have it set up to do something else so that's another fun feature that you can go in and play with at I guess whenever you want to go in there and play with it <laughs> and that concludes this tutorial as always feel free to join us in the glow create group on Facebook for additional tips and tricks on how to use procreate beyond the screen to turn your digital artwork into physical products if you enjoyed this video and would like to be notified of future tutorials, please hit the like button and subscribe below. Until next time, this is Heather Lynn of Lobo Design signing off. I'll holla at you later.